Right, I took a photo of a massive great Chinook not far above my head, went over. I managed to get two shots of it, one through a bush here and one when it was going over there. I, uh, I didn't have the uh, video on at the time. Anyway, I've just found this root. Now this could have been here a while and I never knew. Because what I emerged once, I reckon I was, I recognised that hill there. And I climbed for a fence further down. I didn't know this was here. But there is a root. And it's well protected to protect you from the, from the cows and that. And, okay, I can't go near the farm anymore. I can't come down through the farm at the moment. But, I'm on my track. Now I do know there is another way to pretty that way, but I don't want to do it. This is my track, everyone. So we've come from there. It stinks of drains and foul smells. We've come through that gate then. we come right across the fields. We've now discovered another way here. Um, I, so I know before I used to have to get over a fence. And, and this, I reckon that's been there a while and I just didn't know it was there. That's what happens when you're exploring. Um, anyway, that was the marking great Chinook helicopter, probably on its way to Hinkley Point or something. Could have one of the Labour MPs in it. Anyway, this is just the track I needed to be on. And we've got a lovely, lovely walk back, unless I've got a Going there any cows enough to do diversions. We've got a lovely walk back to Pretty now. We've done a few hills, which is good for us. Exercises the rib cage. Good time to do this track this time of year. But as you can see, it could easily be muddy. I did see a herd of black cows. Yeah, they're over there. We won't meet we don't need to go in there. Big herd of black cows. I've seen them earlier. Those panda cows with, with white faces. <sighs> now when I came here once before I picked up a um a sheep's head. Got it at home still. It was just on the side. You know, skeleton. I saw some lovely deer heads with the full antlers skeletons last week when I was out over on the Quantox. Yeah, of course, you know, I'm so pleased that I've found that route now. <sighs> because if you just want to go straight to Ebber Gorge now, you just come down here and go through there. You know, you don't need to go um, everywhere. Of course, there's a festival on at the weekend. They might have walking trips for people. I've come at the right time. And my plan is the shop is open. I'm going to get San Floyd sausage and ch pie and chips and a can of Coke. Do you know what? I've been thinking of that when I couldn't. When I lost Alberta, one of our treat, my treats, after being out a big day of hiking, that's what I wish you to enjoy. So think of that. I used to think, oh, I really miss those Please. days. We have like sausage and chips. <sighs> and if I'm really greedy, and a pie as well. They always give you too many chips. I have to ask for small. With vinegar on. <sighs> I can't wait. I bet they'll be shot today. That'd be my treat. I wish Zara was into walking. Why is that? Because she's grieving badly. And I think if she could have come out and done this, what I'm doing, she'd feel better because she's out. You're out with nature. And it helps. It's a healer. I, I find it's a healer. Right, there's a big herd of black cows in this field. And you can, in theory, walk that way. There's pretty over there. There'll be a lot of uh, campers getting ready for the festival. But there's no way you'd want to walk in that field with those black cows. Absolutely no way. No way at all. They got the whole field to themselves. I think the ones, they looked a bit hemmed in, the brown ones. 
but they probably move them from one area to another so that they can um, get fresh grass and everything. Yeah. No, I wouldn't get in there. But there is a way across those fields, by the way. I'm not doing it today, I know it, because you have to do a bit of road walking into Pretty. I'm doing the more scenic route, which is further up, going across that way. I might have to do another diversion if there's cows in the field I know I've got to cross. But now you see, you can, to avoid the cows, you can go straight down there and you end up on the road going into Pretty. I've done it, I do know about it. That's another route. But we're doing the one I like doing up here, but I missed, unfortunately, I would have liked to have uh, walked through the farm. Um, but it's not to be. So basically, um, we'll have to plan that another time. At least we know about that route now. And then another time we can go in through the gate, that, that walkway. You're being protected from cows now. They're starting to realise that you can't let people be trampled to death. But everything's wild at the moment. I mean, this is quite good, this track. And I, do you know what, what I love about walking along these sort of places? is that people have been walking here for centuries on these droves. It connects you with your ancestors, even though there probably aren't, aren't any DNA ancestors of mine here, but you don't know. But uh, I don't know, it's just something linking with the past, especially in this high-tech society we live in. You know, with everything, lots of different buttons you've got to press. Uh, things like that. Oh god, this is lovely. Do you know what? I can't think of a better thing than walking like this. That's what I said, I wish Sarah liked walking. I know Georgia does, but she's removed herself too far away. She's just come out on the spur of the moment. But, uh, no, I just think how lucky I am to be able to walk like this still. I'm 72 and a half. And I try to keep doing it because you waste, as you get to my age, you waste very quickly, um, muscles waste. I mean, I know my arms, they've put on a little bit of weight actually, not quite as scrawny since uh, I uh, broke my arm, my, my wrist, it was, you know, but uh, look at that field, they're almost perfect, look. Those lovely trees, we'll be walking the other side of those. But I just love this track. I am just so pleased that I got here. And I made my decision to do some to get over here somehow. From relying on memory. And I met that young man who said, yeah, you'll be near the field soon. Grace knows how far he'd walked, he didn't have any water or anything. Just everything. The sun, I feel nice and warm, my bones are warm. The breeze is welcoming. Is it? Yes. It's a bit lively, it's true, it's not good for narration. It is a lively breeze. It's calmed down a bit actually, but this is the day. Because they can't guarantee we're not going to get. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. <sighs> Baby shower on Saturday, which I do want to go to, but I'm not only going for a couple of hours because I don't really think Sarah wants to be encouraged to drink when she's done so well. And she's down, so she must might, might she might do that. You see, and it would be a bad thing. Whereas if she could do what I do to heal and think well Maggie had a good time, she was loved, she was very well looked after. And devote, Zara devoted her life to her, and Maggie devoted her life to her. And then they had Scatty Me coming in and out. And I love Maggie. I thought she was a beautiful little dog. I'm going to miss her. I feel sad. Well, I started thinking about her. And how she was, she got to know me and Zara. Like Brand did. It took Maggie a while to tune in the same. 
but she did do it and she loved us and she looked as like Zara said she didn't quite know what was happening to her and she she looked spaced out a bit you know obviously with her kidneys packing in and not getting the fluids she couldn't eat it suddenly got her whatever it was it took her um, I would say she went downhill in about a week and a half from being like Maggie running about still she was slow you know she was old I miss her I miss her already if I think about her too much I'll get upset see uh, I know I gotta let it out but I find like coming out here today and seeing nature and knowing that we had Maggie it's like Brandy I mean I still get upset when I think of Brandy <sighs> I still get up as her. She was a friend. They are friends. Proper friends. They stick by you forever. They give you their life. And Maggie done the same and I miss her already. I miss her greeting. But it's worse for Zara because she shared the flat with her 24-7 but I haven't I've, I've been concentrating on the walk all day but I knew I, I'm going to have to reflect on Maggie and Zara needed to be left alone I can understand that because I am a bit of a chatterbox um, Zara's a quite we are just very different people um, I'd love her to have come out and, but I'd be doing all the talking see I think what she'll do she's going to grieve a bit she, she'll, she, I think she said to me she'd have to have another dog she'd have to have another dog don't think she could survive without one but it's sad when they go wrong when Maggie was 17 last week She had loads of toys, didn't know what to get her because she was ill. We thought, oh well, we don't have to get her a present this year. She had Christmas presents, I've still got them in my flat. A dinosaur, a squeaky toy, and all her food, all her dog food that I bought for her, which I'm going to give to the seagulls. Um, any good packets I might take over to Jolene because she's got two dogs but anything that's opened I'll probably feed it to seagulls but I don't I think most of it's opened actually <sighs> right over now I'm gonna start another video that's all about Maggie really the walk has helped it's a beautiful day we had a lovely lovely time with Maggie <sighs> It's terrible when they go. It really is bad. I hate it. I love that dog. <sighs> it hurts. It hurts. I've got to leave Zara alone.